the things that I really like about comedy um, is the diverse group of people that I come in contact with. Uh, this is not the most diverse crowd that I've <laughs> performed for. <laughs> and you'd probably look at me and figure that most of my friends are middle-aged, white, Christian conservatives. Uh, and you'd be right. <laughs> but thank God not all of them, because uh, to tell you the truth, we're not the most exciting demographic. We get together and talk about things like pontoon boats and golf clubs. Maybe get into the occasional heated debate over what's the best tasting brand of mayonnaise. Which for the record is helmets. But in the comedy community, I get to expose uh, myself to a wide range of people, diverse group, and I, I certainly do find that life is at its most enjoyable state when we live it with a diverse group of people. Can cheer that, even if... <laughs> yeah, diversity is good. Um, and amongst comedians, there's racial diversity, ethnic diversity, there's uh, economic diversity, uh, there's even diversity in beliefs and world outlooks, even sexuality. My wife and I, uh, this past summer, uh, we decided to go to the Gay Pride Festival. And that was a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But I'm glad I went, it changed me. Not sexually. No, they, nobody even tried to recruit me. They didn't have booths set up. Nobody came up and slapped me on the butt and said, surprise, you're gay. I guess it doesn't work like that. But it did change me, because uh, as I was walking through there, I did take a moment and notice, you know what? The folks here at this festival, many, if not all of them, have been openly discriminated against. A lot of them have been rejected by their communities, by their families, their churches. A lot of them have been bullied, beat up, abused, but yet they were there throwing a party. It was impressive. It was great to see so many people there so comfortable in their own skin. Some of them were pretty comfortable in not much more than their own skin. <laughs> there was one guy that was there and he was wearing cowboy boots, a cape, a thong, and that's the end of the list. <laughs> he was a little bit uh, heavier than me and a lot hairier than me, but he was rocking it, he was owning it. I'll tell you what, that took confidence. Uh, I couldn't buy that kind of confidence. Sometimes I wish uh, some of my Christian conservative friends acted a little bit more like that guy in the thong. Just once I'd love to hear somebody say, I like guns, don't much care for taxes, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I feel fabulous. <laughs> now that would be a party. Thanks for watching. Visit theunemployedalcoholic.com for more clips and other free stuff.